Welcome back. Now, if you've maybe felt trapped recently, maybe driving a little faster than you should, or maybe you're hoping for new opportunities, it's not just a coincidence. It's what comes with the month of April. Numerologist Patricia Kirkman is here to tell us what's in store for April and also for the sign Taurus that's also coming up as well. The Aries and the Taurus, yes. Yes. Now, let's start with everybody first and kind of those things that I was talking well, about. Well, firstly, that's take a look at the fact this is a five universal month where everyone will deal with it. Five deals with change, has a luck factor to it, that's what we all like. It not only does it deal with change, but we do everything in a hurry, even regardless of what our personal sign is. If you're driving down the road, take time, take a look at your speedometer, you're gonna be surprised. You don't even think you're speeding. You'll find out that you are. And it has a lot to do with making major changes of ideas and thoughts. Great time to get together with friends excellent time for any type of entertaining because five says i don't want to be alone i want to party oh. and if i want to party it better be hardy and i'm just going to take it from there and so it's a combination of things so it really has a lot to offer us well i just threw a baby shower and all of my girlfriends came over the weekend on the first so i guess i started april off as it should have been definitely that's perfect timing so if we're wanting change is change actually is this the month that change is definitely in the air okay but if you look at my website it will tell you how to take a look at what your personal yes. one is okay so if your month and day of birth totals a one because remember we reduce everything to a single yes. number if it reduces to a one then you're in a six personal month okay so you'll be dealing with the i want to have fun and have a good time in the six says, and i want it to be perfect and it's going to be perfect because i said so <laughs> well, and I love that you kind of explain that because I'm sure sometimes this can be a little confusing to everyone. There's a universal month, which right. applies to all of us. Exactly. And then when you have your own personal number, it's almost like an added layer to what's happening. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's our umbrella. Yes. The yep. universal month is our umbrella and we get everything else that's stuck underneath it. And now we have another layer, which is like you said, the Aries and the Taurus, which right. all, is also running around in here. How does that pertain to well, that? Well, actually, air, we're, right now we're really dealing with uh, Aries. Yeah. And we'll be dealing with Aries until after the 22nd yes. of the month. So we get that snippet, shall we say, of the Taurus. Yes. But Aries, God love them. They're <laughs> very, very hard-headed. But at the same point in time, they're very generous, very outgoing, very social. They're very creative and they, when they say the Aries, the ram, head to the wall, yes, they do that a lot too. Ah. <laughs> but they're very independent and they have a way of making people feel good. Oh. But of course, on the other side, they can be a little bitty moody temperament. Not always, but sometimes. Okay. I have to say that nicely because my son just happens to be an Aries. I was going to say, <laughs> you must have an Aries uh, in your life. Yes, I do. My eldest son is an Aries and my youngest son is a Taurus. Is a tour. Oh, so you have one, <laughs> one of each, one uh -huh. of each kind of going on in the in the near future. And I know, kind of like you said, looking ahead to the Taurus, we also have some celebrities that are going to be falling oh, into that at the, towards yes. the end of the month. Uh, who shares the sign of Taurus? Well, actually, we're going to take a look at who's the sign of Aries because they're in vogue, shall we say, to the very end of the month. Okay. And by the time we get back to next month, it'll be just at the beginning of the Taurus. Okay. So this way, we've got Lady Gaga. And that's going to be very nice having her and Maria, uh, Mariah Carey. She is uh, definitely an Aries. Okay. Just to take a look at how she handles things. Ta-da, I'm here. Everybody yes. bend over and say thank you. Yes. And uh, we have uh, Kenny Chesney, who's also a uh, Aries, and Kate Hudson. She always does things that are different and unique. Robert Downey Jr., look at what he's been able to pull off yeah. with that the worst of to the very best of. Interesting. So we've got good things. And then we got Eddie Murphy pulling in the ranks at the end here. Pulling in the ranks. <laughs> and then we should have put a picture of your son in there uh, with yes. all of the other celebrities. That's um, right. <laughs> Well, we, we are hearing about all of the layers, but I'm going to remind them to go to your website to get that personal number to go on top of that universal right. month we were just talking about. It's patriciakirkman.com. You can go there. I'll have answers for you. And if you don't see it, send me an email and I'll find it for you. You will find it for everyone. Mm -hmm. So like Patricia was just saying, to learn more about numerology, just visit patriciakirkman.com. And also don't forget that the next Mystic Messengers Fair is actually going to take place on May 7th.